So hello my friends, in today's video is going to be really, really brief. I'm going to show you guys how to kind of do really quick color correction um, and yeah, just really just color correction actually just in Affinity Photo. So here's a photo that I'm currently working on and retouching. Um, this is kind of how far I've gotten in about 20 minutes, but in today's video I'm just going to show you guys how to fix some of the uneven um, colors and saturation. Um, and we're just gonna hop right in. So the photo is already loaded up in Affinity Photo. I recorded a video on how to import TIFFs from your computer into Affinity Photo. So if you're if you're a little bit confused on how to do that, you can refer to that video. But uh, so the photo is loaded up. This is a photo that I took maybe about uh, a month ago with my creative team, Mr. Model Sierra. And um, I'm just working on retouching these images as we speak right now. So this is sort of the after when it comes to fixing the color. Um, I'm going to kind of zoom in and show you guys specifically what I'm talking about on, on fixing here today. So you'll notice in this group as I turn on and off and I enable and disable this group right here, the visibility of that, you'll notice that the color between the, her face right here versus her, her collarbone and her chest and her shoulders, the, the, not only the color is different, but then also the saturation is different. Um, the biggest thing that happens, what causes this, is when light hits part of our face or the, a subject, um, it tends to reduce the saturation and increase the luminosity of that area. Um, and then as the light drops off and there's natural fall off in the light, the areas that the light isn't hitting, uh, hitting as, as much is going to be usually more saturated and it's also going to be darker, um, which when you complement those two th different things, one's going to have less saturation, the other one's going to have more saturation, it's going to be darker. And our goal when we're editing and retouching images is actually going to really be able to fix that. So um, that's really why that happens and that's why you'll see on the unedited section, um, her face up here is a lot brighter and lighter tone than her chest down here because I was using beauty dish. Uh, there's natural fall off from the center of the beauty dish downwards and that would cause the saturation down in this area to be greater because it's the skin in that area is technically darker. It's a little bit um, lower on the exposure bracket side than her face is because the beauty dish was pointed at her face. So uh, how we're gonna go about fixing this um, so first and foremost, um, I'm using, uh, using a technique called frequency separation, which I will do another video on how to do that. Uh, long story short, I'm using frequency separation. It's already separated into the high texture and the low texture. Um, but I will say refer to the video that I'll be doing here shortly on frequency separation. But what you're going to be doing, though, is an affinity photo. Uh, since they updated it, you're going to hit this plus. You're going to go to new fill layer. Okay, so the first thing we need to fix is a saturation. Um, so what you're going to do, um, you're going to leave the fill layer on solid type, uh, fill content is, uh, is going to just be selected there. You can leave that as default. Going to go over here to the color. Um, you're going to go to the color wheel, this guy right here. So it opens up the color wheel. You're going to go over into gray sliders and you're going to make the, the gray point 50%. So what you're doing by setting the gray slider to 50%, uh, 50 percent is neutral gray in in photography terms neutral gray is going to remove and null basically all the saturation color uh, luminosity of the layer that's below it so we're actually going to use that to our advantage to set this to a color layer and then basically adjust the opacity so that we are neutralizing the tones so basically what you're going to do you're going to set that to 50 percent gray go over here um, and then you're going to drop the opacity we're going to set this right here First and foremost, because we're going to fix saturation, we're going to set this up here to saturation. Um, so what this is going to do is basically it's going to null out and desaturate the entire image. The only thing is, though, that we don't want this to be applied to the entire image. We only want it to be applied to the area that's more saturated. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this temporarily to 40% or 50%. And then we're going to go over here, go back to our layer. Uh, we're going to hit the plus key, empty mask layer. Uh, what you're going to do now is go over to the brushes panel and you're going to paint with white. Um, the width, let's say we're going to use a brush of 200 size and then we're just going to paint the area that we want to desaturate, which is going to be her chest right here. So we're just going to kind of paint. I'm going to do this really roughly, even when I'm doing my retouching for my actual images, always rough. Uh, you, you're welcome to do professional selecting uh, techniques if you want to, it to be more accurate, but I'd rather just do it quickly and just get the job done and move on with my life. So uh, I just do it really rough, just kind of like this right here. And then now we're gonna go back to our layers panel. We're gonna open up the group, hit our dots, and we're gonna just kind of adjust the saturation 
to the point where her face and her chest, they look similar in terms of saturation, how much color is actually there in, in the, um, the uh, I guess the level of color really is what it's gonna be. But, um, and I'm gonna put that roughly at like, let's say 25%. So, so that's one way to fix the difference in saturation. So now her face and her chest, they're, they have the same amount of, uh, amount of color. Uh, the next thing that we have to do to also color correct the issue here, because uh, what you'll notice is that down in these areas, it's kind of like a little bit more red compared to up here, which is a little bit more like in a middle tone, uh, brownish, orangey, yellow color. Uh, so the next thing we have to do is basically uh, to fix and nullify the colors as well. So we're going to go back over here. Uh, one thing I'm going to do just to make this a little bit easier, what I'm going to actually do is duplicate this layer that I just made that has that saturation fix that we just did. So I'm gonna duplicate that. And then what I'm gonna do is go into our three pans and I'm gonna actually change this to color. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go right here into the fill, go back into our color selection. And then what you're gonna do is select a middle point uh, color. So picking the color uh, the color wheel here, selecting a middle point, and we're gonna make sure this is set to CMYK sliders so it actually does that color, which is there. I just went down the recent colors because it didn't select it automatically. Um, all right, and we will be good there. And then we're going to, uh, this is still on saturation, so we're gonna actually have to delete this mask, unfortunately. Um, and then we're going to paint the new color using the paintbrush tool. So we're gonna paint some of that right here. Oh, whoops, let's turn this back on. And we're gonna paint the color here. So basically what we're doing, we're painting over all the areas that we want to fix in terms of color. So we're just gonna paint that specific areas that we wanna fix, which is gonna be there. And again, doing this super rough, cause it's not that big of a deal that it's super ghetto and rough like that, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, and then we're gonna go up to here and we're gonna set this to color. And then same thing as before, we're going to basically adjust the opacity to a point where the her face and her shoulders, they look like the same, uh, not only saturation, but same color as well. Uh, so this would be a pretty good starting point for that, um, in my opinion, maybe like 15% would probably be great. And then now you've you've nullified and you've cleared out uh, the uneven and evenness in terms of saturation and color between those two areas. So I'm going to group these real quick so you can kind of see what we were able to do. Uh, I think that was the original group. So we're going to just do that and we're going to uh, group those. And then now you can see the before and after. All right, it's there. So that's the before and after. It's actually selecting the wrong one, but yes, basically that's what happened there. But yes, that's the before and after. So before, after, for, after, for, after. We just nullified and fixed all those uh, colors. So that's basically one technique on how to do this. I will do, be doing future videos on how to do other techniques to do the same thing as well. Uh, this is just one way that I found how to do this in both Affinity Photo and Photoshop, which I'll be doing future videos on how to do uh, other techniques to accomplish the same thing here. But um, that kind of wraps up today's video. I hope that was beneficial and helpful for you guys. Um, as all, hit that saturated subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, actually mouse over and hit that uh, that bell button as well. Um, so you can stay tuned as uh, and get notifications when we drop the next latest videos. And um, outside of that, stay tuned to our channel. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, you'd like to see something that we have the skill set and the capabilities to do on our channel, by all means, drop that in, in terms of a, a comment or reach out to us on social media. We'll get that knocked out for you as soon as possible. Um, we do review every single comment that we get. We appreciate every single comment that we get. We love the feedback, guys. So keep that up. So um, that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. I mean, until next time, my friends, peace out.